Aloha everyone. Welcome to an Aries Moon Day mini podcast with myself, Alexis of Ascension Diaries. I am happy to be announcing that we have a sun in Leo, moon in Aries. The ascendant is in Sagittarius at this time. Midheaven is in Libra. We have a lot of fire energy, but it seems to have this wonderful mediator at the time and in this place, so it's not an unmanageable energy, it feels like. So we're going to talk today about how I organize my fire energy. So this one's for those of you who who are more fire dominant. You may relate to this particular podcast. I'm also having a friend draw a photo basically of the Sailor Mars character somehow mixed in with me, which I don't know how that's going to work, but perhaps we can share that art soon on the podcast. So I will get into the episode on how I organize and this might help you funnel your flaming tornado of energy that is your kundalini. So let's continue. This episode is brought to you in part by myself, Alexis of Ascension Diaries, and my husband, Jace, of ConsciousCrypto.info. We are offering different offerings to the community. Mine is more therapeutics. I'm using my psychic medium abilities to and as well as my therapeutic training to basically do talk therapy with psychic medium input. It's sort of a more modern, relaxed, mixed medium style. And you will save the hour long recording or half hour to yourself. I'm also offering coaching for a 90 day period where we will meet once a week and for 45 minutes and we will work on just you, whatever it is that we need. I'm going to carve the time out for you specifically. And this is something you do for yourself and it's going very well so far with my other clients. So thank you so much. And if you would like to be more versed in your digital asset portfolio, how to stake things to earn on passive income with your finances, and so on. My husband's teaching those courses. And you can get a free consultation call if you qualify through his website, consciouscrypto.info. Please check us out. Please use our services. This feeds our family of five adopted little animal beings. And we are very grateful for our beautiful, humble little life on this earth. And we wish to expand to be able to travel and visit with more of you with our family and our crew. So let us continue that momentum. It is inevitable. And I'm going to be talking about that in this episode. This is your reception fairy breakfast. is now being served in the main galley. You will find a toilet in every room. You guys can send me small audios that I can put into the podcast pretty easily on my end using the Anchor app, which I've been using. And then I take from online, I take from my anchor account the mp3 i download it i put it into my canva account and put some of the pictures on top of the audio and export it as a video and upload it to youtube so there's those are the easy ish steps that i take for those of you learning to do videos that might have went over your head some of you know exactly what i'm talking about Look up those tools that I mentioned if you're interested in doing the same kind of work I'm doing because you'll have totally different things to talk about than I do. And that's why I continue to share the techniques I use in order to basically, I don't know, get the creative juices going but not waste too much time, which is sort of the Aries rising energy that I was going to share with you in this Aries moon day message. So to organize your energy... You have to find your patterns. For women and men, they have different hormonal patterns. Women go with the moon more. 
but I've noticed men are very much in the same boat because they also have a divine feminine counterpart in their soul. I feel like they have divine feminine energy. So anyways, watch the moon cycles and you'll know what part of the moon cycles will give you more momentum than others. Usually I find full moons tend to give me more energy where I can't sleep as much. I am a little bit up later sometimes and then new moons are a little more chill. They don't really affect me as much. But every single week there is also the seven days and these days have been alchemically coded into our calendar and this sort of ritual we're doing with the calendar. I'm not a stranger to it. I've been studying it a lot more lately on purpose to basically find the truth because I hadn't quite found that coherent line. I didn't sit in any lecture where that was given to me in full coherence. So I've been taking piece by piece from other people's posts on the internet, you know, infographics online on Instagram are only so informative, but I do what I can with what I gather. And I've been cherry picking basically this whole time, all the internet information people are freely giving, right? I am seeing that each day of the week, the seven days, there is a planetary body that is the dominant body. And that body has a personality trait. It has a specific uh, influence over our own body. So the moon is more about the emotions. In my opinion, it's more about the womb. It's more about the feminine energy. So I find that on Mondays, I want to be in my pajamas. I don't want to be on camera as much. And I find that I want to speak more. I want to kind of drift off more into my own thoughts and into my own words. And that's why I do podcasts this day because it really vibes. Even though tonight I am going to do a space weather video because we've had multiple M-class flares just today, which means Alexis has to work if she can. And with all this fire energy, I definitely feel the capacity. We both woke up feeling like, wow, I just feel lighter. I feel more alive. I feel good. And then these flares came in and it really didn't seem to make too much of an impact. We didn't have any friction between us, like almost at all today in the household with all these beings running around it. There's more potentials for friction and organizing with each of the planetary days of the week has helped me know what you'd be good at on those days on a regular basis. So uh, on Wednesdays, that's Mercury. So what, are, what is Mercury good at? Communicating. So do I do live streams on Wednesdays? Often I like to, or I do those little videos, the Wisdom Wednesdays shorts. And <laughs> on Fridays is v- Venus. We've talked about this before. Venus is a big one because that's a very communal loving sign. And I find that I can do live streams and hang out with people the easiest on Fridays. I was also born on Friday. I'm a Libra, so I'm guided by Friday basically anyways. And it's good to know these particular alchemies with your own birthday and your own energy. So you know what days you're going to be rocking it better than others. And just test that theory out for yourself and organize. So on each of these days, I have an alert on my phone now that goes off every single week that alerts me to the activity that I would like to do if I had the proper energy and was feeling it. What's the activity that goes for Monday? So every Monday I get the moon day message alert and then my brain all for hours starts thinking about, okay, yes, I need, do I want to do this? What do I have to do the research? Okay, no problem takes me literally no no time at all I seem to be a pretty I'm getting to be a natural at the moon interpretation energy which is cool (laughs) maybe explains why they made me watch Sailor Moon so much but each day of the week I'm getting an alert and I'm also some of my alerts are alerting me the day before so I actually get to think about it before I go to sleep the next for the next day I get to remember right before I go to sleep what I'm going to be creating the next day if I go on a schedule and then eventually this schedule is going to become really firm my body's going to adapt to this rhythm and if not I'll adjust it still I'm experimenting but for now it's working pretty good 
I usually, sometimes you have to skip a week, I've noticed, and your body just literally just needs to take a week off of an activity, but it wants to do it again the following week usually. So I've let myself fall into that too and been listening and listening and following and feeling the vibe and only doing it if it feels good. And then there is moments where there's some resistance, but I push through and I've been spicy about it and getting my way. So I'm learning that too, because sometimes pushing can hurt other people (laughs) as much as you don't want it to. Other people who or other beings that live in your life who just want to be in your energy field at the same time that you're trying to go live for dozens and dozens you know of people it's so funny how that keeps happening but that's okay you just have to flow with it the best you can try not to blow up like a volcano try and just breathe with the wind of the winds of change the flow of the water it'll get done it you know those who are meant to see your content will see it you know there is no mistakes so just flow with those impulses and those feelings within to avoid meltdowns and expectations and so on to getting the better of your energy draining your energy so you can't be productive in another way i also have repeating messages for chores that i like to do and i put them off like every thursday i have laundry on there but I don't do it every single Thursday but I get the alert so I know also how many Thursdays that I've skipped and how often that I'm actually feeling the vibe to do laundry so I can get that that signal right and not give myself anxiety with too many alerts maybe just turn it on to a monthly alert or something like that so this is the process I've been doing lately it's been helping me substantially I also made my own calendar which some of you have purchased it's still on my website you can get the pdf version print it off play with it enjoy it with me there's still plenty of months left available on the one online I would recommend you get one and print one off truly on the 18th we're going to have peace day or a monday and we are going to just singularly focus on planetary good vibes and that's going to be a great organized energy and this calendar is helping me organize my energy too and things that I have been wanting to do on an annual basis that I haven't been doing because it just runs away with you and if there's no some sort of structure to kind of look back on and judge time with it gets tricky so I'm glad I've been developing some better tools that I feel comfortable using to track time And I've been creating my content in this new pattern with the planets and seeing how that works. And for me, it works really good. So that's why I'm offering this technique for you and whoever this resonates with. If you want more, you know, if you want the weekly support to basically begin your journey or continue your journey in a more solid routine weekly basis, I'm offering that coaching to people right now. So I'm moving people mostly onto the Wednesdays of my schedule right now, again, for communication. So we can get good, proper communications that I can to be of service and not push you too hard, but give you achievable goals for the week until I see you next. And it should develop at least one day a week in your patterning where you are doing this work for yourself, for your creative venture, and for your vision that is your incarnation here what is your true journey here you must do it at least once a week and then eventually you'll have a creative idea to exhibit or do for yourself or for others every day of the week like I do and we'll get more into that in other episodes of course please feel free to ask any questions below any of these videos or streams please and thank you for sharing I love doing these seems like I have like a tiny niche community now listening to these which is cracking me up but I'm enjoying it also because sometimes the swarm of unknowns on social media can get really large so it's nice to get some actual feedback back from some human beings who have creative abilities as well and some input about what I'm saying and the audacity to try my suggestions for themselves which is more of a fire sign trait I would say and you fix signs as well 
I'm an Aquarius moon, so I'm a fixed moon, <laughs> but I'm a cardinal sun. And I'm uh, also here to kind of move in these jumps. I enjoy moving in these hops. I should say I enjoy when we get to burn forward and do a shift. And I also enjoy when we get to sit still and rest. So let us continue on with these patterns, listening to our bodies being compassionate to the other types of signs and temperaments that you live with and that you've committed your time to just genuinely do that for mindfulness and care of the other people you love and live with. I think that is the, that's where we're going. If you need readings about that, I also provide all those services. So go ahead, book with me. If you're hearing this and you haven't gotten to do that yet, I'd be happy to see you. I have openings and I can't wait to get the feedback from this episode. Thank you so much. And I'm seeing an eagle right now. So good luck to all of us. That's some good vibes right there. (laughs) I'll see you on the live stream tonight or in the future. Thank you to my Patreon followers. You guys are the bomb, the guardians, and I am bowing to you. You can't see it, but I am much obliged. I will speak to with you all again very soon.